Hey yo guys, what's up, what's up? This is your boy Pudang from the channel PlayStation with Pudang. And right now, we'll talk about another tutorial. And yes, that is correct. Another PlayStation 4 tutorial. So if you haven't known already, this channel focuses on PlayStation 4 tutorials, PlayStation 4 news, PlayStation 4 sales, and everything. So if you like that content, click that subscribe button to keep updated. And right now, we'll talk about on how you can link your credit card in your PlayStation 4. Now, it doesn't matter which country you are in right now. You will still be able to link your credit card as long as you have the correct country account for your PlayStation 4. I am from the Philippines and I was able to do it using a Philippine credit card. So I have no doubt that you can do this as well. Just follow the steps that I'm gonna show you. And right now, this video focuses on UK regions only. So this is gonna be R2. So if you have a different country account, let's say you have a US account, you have Singapore account, you have Hong Kong account, we have a different method for that. But right now, let's just focus on UK accounts. That's R2 accounts. And I suggest that if you don't have UK account yet, definitely i highly recommend for you to create one there's a link in the description you can go ahead and check that out a separate video that i made on how you can create multiple accounts okay so right now we are in my playstation 4 as you can see i have multiple accounts this is my eu or uk account r2 account whatever you want to call it so you want to go to the playstation store and afterwards you want to go to the uh, payment method at the lower part so go ahead and select that and then add a pay uh, add a credit card or debit card then just uh, go ahead and simply add your uh, credit card or debit card or just uh, go ahead and add mine and of course i'm gonna blur this out just to be safe for security purposes of course and um, as you can see there is a small portion that you can see uh, in this part and that portion is an important thing in the method because this one you need to add a visa credit card on the list in order for this method to work now i haven't tried a lot of cards in this one but i have tried my master card it's not working but after trying my visa card i'm actually surprised that it it did work and it did the trick so i'm sharing it with you guys and uh, another step that after trying that another step that you want to do is instead of using your real credit card information in this list you can go ahead and try to use a fake address in the fake address generator in order for your credit card information to be accepted so I have tackled this on my other tutorials on how you can create your account in uh, UK regions. So if you have used a fake address generator just to create a UK account, definitely do that or use that address in order for this method to work. I will go ahead and uh, post the link down below regarding the fake address generators link so that you can use it. In order for this method to work you can use it to fill out this field and go ahead and proceed as usual now I don't recommend for you to use the same information as I've used because at some time probably it's not gonna work anymore so go ahead and generate a different address than this one check down the link in the description below and as you can see I was able to link my credit card my Philippine credit card in my UK account now if by any chance this method won't work for you then an additional or an optional method is for you to buy some PSN credits in g2a.com I will link it down below you can you can purchase some PSN credits since we are using United Kingdom account you can purchase some UK PSN credits so I'll go ahead and post down the link below that's an optional method if this won't work for you so I'm not gonna purchase any games because I've already purchased a game before and that's gonna be Naruto Legacy so it's gonna be the uh, uh, trilogy of Naruto and then the uh, Naruto Ultimate Storm 4 so the games that I purchased I was able to play this on my original account that I'm usually playing and the thing that you want to do is you want to activate this as your primary 
as you can see in the video i've activated this as my primary account and for that since i've already set this up as my primary account i was able to play the games that i've downloaded on my uk account to my other accounts as well so as you can see i purchased naruto on my uk account but i was able to play the game in my singapore account so the reason behind that is because we have activated the uk account as the primary account that's why they have a connection you will be able to play your games that you've downloaded or your the games that you purchased in your uk account to any other accounts that you have as long as it is your primary account so that's actually about it that's the thing that i want to talk about i hope that you consider subscribing if this video helped you it's gonna be a big help for this youtube channel if you like this video click the thumbs up if you don't click the thumbs down click the bell icon if you want to be updated keep it real happy gaming and peace